So welcome to the uh, Midsummer Cams and Essex branch field trip uh, to Monkswood. I'm Vince Lee, this is Louise Bacon. Um, we're here to uh, explore the wood in uh, late June, uh, which is the peak time for some of the really uh, spectacular woodland specialists. Our target species today will be Purple Emperor, White Admiral and Silver Wash Fritillary. Um, no doubt we'll be enjoying a whole range of other species as we walk the rides of this, the largest wood in Cambridgeshire. You can see the ride edges are managed on a sort of rotational basis, so you have some areas which get quite shady, and then if you look ahead, there's some more sunny patches. Gradually, those will be opened up. I'm letting more light into the edges where we are now. Any of the main rides that you can find on the map uh, are good for an exploration for butterflies. There's no hot spot within the wood really, you just need to spend an hour or two walking the rides fairly slowly and just looking around and you'll find most of the key species. You can see here where the ride has been managed more recently on the left, perhaps three years ago it was coppiced and is now a dense thicket, and then on the right, possibly cut down about seven to eight years ago, and is much taller and shadier. This mixture of habitat is great for a lot of butterflies. Um, most importantly, on this site is the black hair streak, which you can see much earlier in the summer. We normally say June, but this year they were out well into uh, May. So check the website for when the black hair streak's on the wing and get here fairly early because they have a very short flight season. The best places to look for general butterflies are obviously the wide flowery rides and small clearings. So here we've got a patch of marsh thistle which is flowering nicely and has attracted in a, a marbled white. Not the sort of butterfly you'd expect to associate with woodlands, um, but there's enough sunny open areas here for the these butterflies which are really spreading into our area to, to colonise. Um, the grasslands support all of the regular species like ringlet, meadow brown, large skipper, um, lots of um, gatekeepers later on in the year. But yeah, it's nice to see a marbled white for a change in the wood. Any uh, big sunny patch of bramble is well worth a check for the silver wash fritillary, which has made a remarkable comeback in the last uh, 15 years or so. Um, we've already seen uh, about 10 in the first 20 minutes walking along the rides. Very powerful flyers when they uh, are cruising around but uh, they will settle and feed for sort of lengthy times in the bramble patches. Probably most easily confused with commas at this time of year in terms of sort of just a fast orange flying thing but obviously these are much larger and more majestic in flight. Midsummer form of comma uh, is generally this pale underside with a less ragged wing than the ones that hibernate. It's known as the form Hutchinsoni. Quite a few of these are being seen this year in uh, 2020. Let's see if it can open its wings for us. Seems to be just resting in the heat of the sun. And here's another comma on some bramble which is showing its upper side and occasionally get the flash of the underside. Similar 
form to the first one. Gliding gracefully, but very, very rapidly up and down the rides and through the woods, you sometimes get uh, white admiral. It's useful to be aware of the food plant for this species, which is honeysuckle. Keep an eye out for that, and if you find a patch, just stop and wait by a, a likely bit of bramble somewhere nearby, and you might be lucky. We've been going for about an hour and seen three of these, but. Uh, this is the first one that stopped even remotely close enough to the camera for a, an attempt at filming. And of course it's hiding behind a leaf. Creep up slowly without disturbing it and get a good, better shot for you. So this, uh, you know, in silhouette can look a little bit like a purple emperor, just with that broad white stripe, but obviously it's much more black and white. Oh, we're off. No chance of following that with a camera. <laughs> so this is a ride junction and we're going to look for purple emperors and purple hair streaks. We've already spoken about bramble and flowers on ride edges and junctions but these junctions of rides are excellent for the two purple butterflies. Both of them actually spend most of their time in the woodland canopy so it's really useful to have a pair of binoculars to scan around. I've just seen a purple emperor go across the gap in the oak canopy above me to my side. That's the kind of view you get to start with. Binoculars are very useful for scanning around in the leaves. You'll have more views and uh, you sometimes see the tip of a wing or the antennae poking up from one that's perched. Purple hair streaks are much, much smaller, almost moth-like, and tend to be flitting around the oak canopy and look very, very silvery. Oak is, of course, the caterpillar food plant for the purple hair streak. The purple emperors prefer to just use these corners and oak, oak canopy bowls as um, display points of their food plant is, is sallow. Purple hair streak can be easier to find later in the afternoon and into the evening. After 5 p.m. is good and even later than that, 6, 7, 8 p.m. in high summer, especially when it's really hot. Today it's 30 degrees. We're unlikely to see one at this time of the afternoon that we're making this. But in three hours time they'll be out and about and active in the oak canopy. We've had a two hour walk around Monkswood and we've seen 16 species of butterfly. We're finishing our walk now and our highlights have been three purple emperor, 20 silver wash artillery, about 10 white admiral, four purple hair streak and plenty of the commoner browns, fresh newly emerging peacock and brimstone and we've had a lovely walk in very hot weather and it's about to thunder so we're going home.